How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Wrecked Videos. Today we'll be taking a look at even more funny and embarrassing police moments. During a night out these three men got into a physical altercation with a parking meter. However it didn't go as planned if there was any plan because just seconds later they were caught in the act by police and one of them arrested. This driver was ready for a high speed chase when officers used a tire grappler causing the man to come to a complete stop. Hands out the window. Do not move. Walk back to my boy. Imagine riding shotgun in your mate's car when suddenly he decides to try and make a getaway from the cops. Well, that's exactly what happened in this clip and the driver's friend doesn't seem too happy about it. Now, now. You get chased by the f***ing cops, yo. What the f***? What the f***, yo? Damn, yo. I know, I know, I know. What the f? My fault, blood. Damn, yo. Both the passenger and driver were unharmed, but maybe it's time to make new friends. This woman was live streaming when an officer informed her that she was driving not only on a suspended license, but also that she had a warrant out for her arrest. Jail. Hello ma'am. Hey, your driver's license is suspended and you have warrants out of Fayetteville and you just step out of the car, okay? I ain't got no warrants. You need to step out of the car. I'm about to get low. Refusing to exit the vehicle, police had no choice but to smash her driver's side window. Get out the car. Was that necessary? Get out the car. Was that necessary? Y'all saw that? Was that necessary? Get out the car. Was that necessary, Mr. Sir? Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? And I'm not resisting. So drive. there's that. Someone was pointing a laser at this California Highway Patrol helicopter while it was assisting in an unrelated call. Hello, H30, good evening. Hey, we're getting lased pretty good from the guy at 6 Drive. Any units available? But what the suspect didn't expect was that the flight crew were able to pinpoint their exact location, alerting police and having them arrested. Hey, Vallejo, it's actually going to be coming from a vehicle right in front of 6 Seven, George, 10 level. Yep, that's the truck right there. Confirming you found the subject in H30 and clear. This man thought it would be a good idea to start vaping inside the bathroom of a plane. Thinking he wouldn't get caught, he caused the plane's smoke detectors to go off. forcing the pilots to land the plane in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hello, sir. Good. Ma'am, can I get you to step back over here for me? Yep. Stand up. Hold on before you walk off. I'll get it one second. Will you get his back from Um, that you set off the smoke alarm in flight. Okay. Sound familiar? Yep. Okay. Alright, so the reason why all of this happens is because that's a federal violation. We all know that you can't do that. 
that could also put everybody else that's in that plane in jeopardy when that happens. Because okay? a lot goes on, pilot's getting ready to line the plane, next thing you know he has a smoke alarm going off, causes tons of confusion and a lot of a lot of stuff happens, right? Yep. So um, again, I there's a whole process. I have to notify the, the air marshals um, that are out of Albuquerque. Um, I will explain the case to him. I will then go back and talk to the pilot. And between their decision is whether or not they want to charge you federal. Okay. If they if they decide yes, that they do want to prosecute you, it is a federal offense and you will be arrested for it. Okay. okay? So I can't make that determination until I get them on the phone and talk to them and find out what they want to do. But you do know that you're not supposed to do that, correct? Okay. All right. Good news and bad news. Good news is you get to leave here today. Bad news is they're probably going to be sending you a fine in the mail. So here's the issue that you caused. So by you vaping in the plane, cause them to deviate from their normal landing procedures, do a different stuff, and you delayed an additional flight two hours, which that flight now is delayed out of Dallas two hours, and you caused a ripple effect for all those connecting flights to be delayed two hours. Yeah, because they have the maintenance on the smoke detector now, probably. Yep. So. You know, I, I know you already know and you learned your, your lesson, I feel, but it caused much more of a problem than you think. You know what I mean? Yeah, you affected many, many people. So um, I have your information. I'll give you a copy of the case number as well. Uh, so you have it. Um, and then somebody from the FBI will be contacting you. <coughs> <coughs> Now, if you thought the person in our last clip caused a whole lot of problems for a whole lot of people, check out this individual who, when trying to drive home after a night of drinking, managed to get his car stuck on a railroad crossing. I mean, this guy accidentally set some kind of record when he managed to get police involved, firefighters, of course, railroad workers. People passing by started arguing with police. It just didn't end. <laughs> Get out of the car! Get out of the roadway! Get out of the car! Everybody get out of the roadway! Bro, is there any chance this is gonna move or no? No. I'm trying to go home. I mean, it's five minutes that way. You. Hey, you got your ID on you, boss? Or it's in the car. It's in the car. Right. Where in the car is it? Uh, I, I don't have an answer. I don't, you don't have an answer? It's somewhere, it's somewhere in the car. Your ID is in the car, too? Is your car? Is it registered to you? I literally seen him like right here and I'm like bro what is he set up a truck we're gonna tie it to the truck to the vehicle and just pull it back like a record would perfect thank you so much yeah as long as we can just get it off Train or something stupid like that. Okay. This is where things start to get interesting or more infuriating depending on how you look at it as these girls take it upon themselves to approach police and declare that they're now taking matters into their own hands. I guess it wasn't obvious enough for these girls that everything was already under control. Meanwhile, I would bet that by now, this drunk driver is really wishing that he had just caught an Uber home. What are you doing? Oh, get out of the tracks. I'm calling the dispatcher because it's my job. She reported and she job? wiped down. This is my job. This come is not on. your job. Get off the railroad. She wiped from the train tracks. That's all she doing. She called Ma'am, stop. If you're not working right now, get out of here. What are you doing? Stop. We're here. It doesn't matter. We're going to stand right here while you call. It doesn't matter. You got to stand right here while you call. Ma'am, same thing. Step out of the roadway. Okay. This is not a safe place for you to be.
Who am I talking to? Dispatch. Why? This is for she because works the here. She has to report. The CSX is going to come through soon. The track is shut down, so I need to let them know before the train comes through. You think we're done? No, but you know, I'm standing. By her seeing no, right. it, she, she has to report. Job already. Okay. Right? So what else are we going to do? So I'm letting him know. Who? So he can. Dispatch. Dispatch. Dispatch, D dispatch for who? Sunrail. And CSX. We've already done that. Okay, but what, but I'm, letting what you know I'm saying so is a, a bluff down protection for you guys before the CSX come through and hit you. We've already contacted them. Okay, but what? I'm not talking right. to Justin. Um, okay, what I'm saying is though, by her seeing it, she has to do, she signed a contract when she worked there that she has to report it if she sees it. Even though y'all already reported, she has to do that. That's all she's doing. Listen, this sign right here says no trespassing Florida Department of Transportation. Okay. If you step on the tracks and you yes, fail to I move, understand that. then you're going to get cuffed that. and then we take you to jail that. and then you go, what the fuck? Why am I going to jail? Oh, no, I understand that. We and understand that, but what I'm, I'm here putting her back, but what I'm saying, she, by her seeing it, she has to call. If she doesn't call, she can get in trouble for that. That's all she's saying. But we've already handled okay, it. Okay, we understand that y'all handled that, wants but what to I'm call, by her seeing it, she has to do it. If she wants to call whoever she wants to call, go ahead. Come on. Um, come here, Shadeh. Can you stop back You can call yeah, from the other side of the no, road. She, she, she can't. So she can. Why is she, why is she, she on can. the tracks calling? No, I understand. She, uh, she, she told she me she can't. She's not going to Ma'am, you have to re ma'am, you have to report it, right? Just relax. You have to report it, right? Yeah, they asked for your badge number. That's your what badge that's number? You have to report it, right? What's your badge number? Three five five six zero. Did you get that, Justin? Yeah. Please okay. step back. Okay, and his name is Mayor. A Mayor. Please step back. See Mayor. If you don't care, oh, soon I'm not gonna care. Oh, I care. Okay, no, I'm telling I'm you what. You know. It says no trespassing. If you don't care, I know that I'm telling you, you soon I will not care. We get it. That's yo, yo, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? We're, there's a whole bunch of people here. I didn't get stopped by no one. Oh, if I knew I couldn't come, I would have came, but nobody said, no, you can't go through. Jesus, bro. Nobody said no. Nobody said no. This Florida man was busted for indecent exposure in what is probably the easiest arrest in the history of law enforcement. This guy thought it would be a good idea to enter the lobby of a police station to jerk off. He was caught on cameras inside the building burping the worm, and police watching weren't too happy when they had to confront him about manhandling his ham candle. What else were you doing? Nothing. What else were you doing? Nothing. I was. You still got the evidence. Your pants are still unzipped. What else were you doing? I was fucking thinking about going to the bathroom. You were thinking about going to the bathroom. You know you're in the police department, right? Yes, sir. So you know there's cameras everywhere, right? So you want to tell me again what were you doing? Or I just put you in handcuffs and take you to jail for checking your fucking dick in my lobby? Yes, sir. What's your name? Bear. Bear? Yes, sir. Like B-E-A-R? Yes, sir. Bear, what's your last name, Bear? Yes, sir. Bear, what's your last name, Bear? Are you sure that's your name, Bear? You sure that's your name? Yes, sir. So your name is not Andrew? Do you not recognize me? Yes, sir, I do. So why are you gonna lie to us and tell us your name is Bear? Well, that's what I go by. All right, so what's your government, government name, Andrew? And Andrew. Why would you decide to come to the police department to relieve yourself? At this point, the police lobby chicken choker is detained while one of the officers leaves to review the CCTV footage to confirm that what they saw on camera was actually what they thought they had seen. However, I think it's safe to say that things are not looking too good for our corn-chucking Florida man. Now, unfortunately, I have the task of reviewing video to see whether or not you're actually going to jail. You're just, you're just detained right now. A few moments later... What he absolutely was doing. 
That's it for this video guys, if you enjoyed don't forget to like the video before you go, and if you want to see more then hit that subscribe button, but more importantly stay safe and I'll see you next time.